Now before we start, what I've done is I've updated our equation with the value of k that we found earlier. It was e to the minus kt here, but k was one-fifth natural log of two. And it's important that we put this in brackets if you've got the t over here on to the right, because we don't want this to be read as the natural log of 2t. So by putting the brackets around that, it's blocking that t being multiplied by that 2. So we've got to find then the rate that the temperature is changing, the rate that it's decreasing when t is 10. So it's easy to appreciate this from the graph. Not that we had to draw the graph, as I said earlier, but when t is 10, if we just mark that as 10, we're looking at this point on the curve and that rate of decrease is given by the gradient, the gradient of the tangent at that point. Let's just mark it in there, okay? If we work out the gradient of this, we're going to expect the gradient to be negative. And that will give us the rate of change of theta with respect to time. So that's what we've got to do. First of all, we've got to differentiate this with respect to t. So I'm going to have therefore d theta by dt equals. Well, if I differentiate 20 with respect to t, that's easy. It's just simply zero. But when I get to this part, okay, I've got 70e to the minus, and this is a constant. Just see this is our value k, kt. We should know that this gives us 70 multiplied by the differential of e to the minus kt, which is going to be e to the minus kt multiplied by minus k. It's a standard result. The result you should know, it comes from the chain rule, that if you have, say, y equals e a to the power x, say, a being a constant, dy by dx always equals a e to the a x. So I'm using this result here and the x corresponds to the t, the a, the constant, is the k or one-fifth natural log of two. So hopefully that helps you out on that part. So we just need to insert that value of k back again. So we've got 70, we could put minus k there actually, let's put the minus at the front. k we know is one-fifth natural log of two, so I can divide the 70 by 5, that's the one-fifth natural log of two, and that's being multiplied by, let's put that in brackets, by e to the minus kt, so we've got minus one-fifth natural log of 2, put that in brackets, multiplied by t. This cleans up 70 divided by 5. 70 divided by 5 is 14, so might as well take advantage of that. Now I've just got to say when t equals 10. When t equals 10, we find that therefore d theta by dt equals well, we substitute that in, we've got minus 14 multiplied by the natural log of 2, put that in brackets, and it's being multiplied by e to the minus a fifth multiplied by a 10 there, so that's going to be minus 2, 10 divided by 5, okay, when t goes in there, natural log of 2. Now, if you work this out on the calculator, what you'll find that you get is this value, minus 2.4260 and so on. Now we expect a negative value because the gradient here it's decreasing. But it says what is the te temperature, what rate is the temperature decreasing? So because they were using the word decreasing, we can expect that minus, um, we, we take away that minus, we're just looking at the magnitude. The word decreasing is implying that it's going 
down it's reducing so therefore we just finish off by saying that it's therefore decreasing okay decreasing at a rate of 2.426 and we were asked to give it to three decimal places so it's 2.426 the units would be degrees C per minute you can either write per minute or you could write min min with a minus one leave it up to you and we'll say that that was rounded to three decimal places alright